Hey guys, Andy here. Alright, I am going to try to do this again. Will that work? Yeah, okay. Cool. Alright, so I bought the, um, where's the box? Oh boy, it's been buried. Uh, this, no, that's not it. <laughs> there we go. Alright, this is what I bought. Make sky blue. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, this is the manual. It came very nicely packaged, uh, very well packaged. Uh, this is the monstrosity that I have ended up with. Okay, so... Um, Alright, I'll explain what is going on with these wires first, and why. Uh, I've tried making this video at least five times now. I've, I've technically actually made this video five times and then realize that nothing works. So hopefully this this works, hopefully. So this object here, um, don't know where I put the metal frame for it. Hmm, it's missing. There we go, no it isn't. All right, so these are the specs for the power supply. Okay, 36 volts, 33 amps, 1200 watts, uh, it cost me 160. I could have got it for a hundred dollars Canadian, but whatever. Uh, I gotta write this on there. It has a potentiometer, so I can change the voltage from 31.75 to 42.12 volts using this little potentiometer right there. So I've done that, and I'm running it at 34 volts. I'm putting it into this uh, big boost converter which can do 15 amps, um, which is pretty good actually. Uh, I have to do that since uh, the power supply and the MPPT do not like each other. So because of the way the MPPT is pulling current, uh, the power supply thinks that there's nothing there once in a while and then it just decides to turn off. Or too much voltage or too much amperage is getting run and then it turns off and then it turns that off so lots lots of nonsense so I, I've already blown up this boost converter it didn't even work this this thing didn't even work from right from the get-go not a single the potentiometers did nothing and then the 15 amp fuse that's uh, soldered right down in there just at the top here see that 15 it it popped so piece of junk it was only nine bucks from China, no big deal. So I have this thing set at, what the heck? Well, it says that it's like off or something, but this thing says that it's pumping 10 amps. Can you see that? Yeah. And then it goes down to 1.5. There, see now the lights are on. L literally, this thing just doesn't know what life it wants to live. So you hear that? Just I had to modify this thing to yeah. See, okay, that thing turned off. I put a I I drilled a hole and then I I put in my own potentiometer because this thing is so damn loud. This power supply is ridiculous. I do need to solder this in, but like. That's ridiculous. You'll, you'll just hear this thing ramping up and down all the time for no reason whatsoever. It's it's unbelievable. So, anyways, uh, let's see. Okay, so that's what I'm doing right now. This is my fake solar panel running into this boost converter that controlled the voltage and the amperage output. I've put 35 volt, 2200 microfarad capacitors here and here. So on the input and the output of this guy, there's capacitors. Okay, so let's go over. So right now, so I'm running a 7S 18650 system. That means 29.4 volts. Okay, let's, uh, this is the manual right here. Yeah. That's the manual. So let's go through the screen. All right, there. All right, this is, so 35 volts is coming from this guy, which is my fake solar panel. And it's putting out 20 watts and it seems to be fluttering up and down because 
it doesn't like to run. All right, so the batteries, it's trying to charge the batteries at 27.6 volts. Yeah, and it just did that. It's been doing that, and then it turns back on. Don't know why. And then this is the amperage that it's putting to the batteries. Okay, this output four and 33 degrees Celsius, and then no faults, I assume, since there's nothing showing up. Okay, next we're gonna go to programming. All right, so that just means run 24 hours a day. Okay, D01. All right, we look in this manual. All right, D01, default value of float charge. All right, so float charge is 28 volts. Um, I'm going to try it. I'm going to actually put it to... So what's happening here? Oh, boy. There we go. Okay, so you have to double that number because these guys must have used a really, really crappy controller like microchip and you just have to double that number in order to figure out and it automatically detects what what setup you're at so whatever really stupid so we have to double that so we we want it to be like 14.7 oh. maybe six I'm going to try that since I've been having trouble. Alright, next one. Zero two. Zero two is max voltage. Okay. Okay, D02. That is the highest absorption charge. Okay. Number three, that's the lowest. So 22 volts is my lowest. Doesn't really matter. This just means lithium battery. If it's a zero, then it's uh, lead acid or NICAT or some, something. So, yeah. And then you just press program and you're back at it. So it says 130 watts, which is very pitiful. Uh, so, I'm going to say that it's uh, currently a complete failure. Uh, this, this thing's got too much circuitry, so maybe if I put like a light bulb on the output then it will always run even though this thing's all over the place maybe if i put bigger capacitors in here it'll think that it's running um, some kind of load um, there's a lot of ideas if you have any idea of how i can uh, solve this or why this thing would be ramping up then going down because this thing should be stabilizing but I'm, I'm certain that it's the problem is this guy here He's got some kind of circuit in him that decides to just go to sleep all the time. Right. So, you know, if you have any idea, just let me know. That'd be great. Alright, I hope you uh, like the video. You know, it's, it's, I don't know, I guess this is the best I can do for now. So, yeah. Let me know what you think, uh, yeah, if you think you might have a better solution, uh, if you have any experience with these, uh, power supplies, uh, please let me know, I'd, I'd greatly appreciate it. Alright, thanks guys, talk to you later, bye.